In other modules, we introduce you to treatment objectives for Fika Sludge and markets for treatment products. In this module, we'll provide you with an overview of treatment technologies to meet these objective and market demands. Following this module, you'll be able to explain different levels of technology development, list technology based on a level of technology development, and group technologies by treatment objectives. Many technologies exist for the treatment of fecal sludge, such as blended drying beds, co-composting, fly larvae composting, pyrolysis, or lime treatment. These different technologies have different levels of research, design, operating, and maintenance experience. For example, unplanted drying beds have been extensively researched and implemented for fecal sludge treatment in the past 20 years. This slide shows our pilot-scale research facility in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Such research has produced knowledge for treatment design and operation, for example, on the influence of sand filter diameter and filter depth on the treatment performance. Here is an example of a full-scale construction and operation of drying beds for fecal treatment in Kampala. Examples like this provide further information, for example, on how to best remove sludge from drying beds or dewatering and drying times. Such information can then improve further treatment designs and operations. We call technologies with this level of development and operating experience established technologies. Other established technologies include planted drying beds, co-composting, settling thickening tanks, and deep row entrenchment. In contrast to established technologies, technologies are available that are established for the treatment of other waste, such as wastewater and solid waste. We call these technologies transferring technologies, as information on operation is currently still being transferred and adapted for fecal sludge. These technologies include anaerobic digestion, incineration, vermicomposting, lime treatment, and mechanical dewatering, as shown here for a fecal sludge treatment plant in Malila. These technologies can be used for treatment, but less reliable information is available on their design and operation with fecal sludge compared to the established technologies. Fecal sludge management is a really dynamic field, and many innovative technologies are also being developed, for example, pyrolysis, ammonia treatment, fly larvae composting, or pelletizing, as shown here at a fecal sludge treatment plant in Durban. These technologies are currently in the research stage in preparation for scaling up. So why do we distinguish technologies as established, transferring, and innovative? The level of technology development is an important indicator in selecting an appropriate technology. Based on the level of adaption, research, innovation, as well as design, operation, and maintenance that will be required for successful implementation of this technology. Established technologies can be more reliably implemented, but much less information is available for the transferring innovative technologies. Therefore, established technology should be selected when limited capacities for this adaption, innovation and research and development are available. For transferring technologies and innovative technologies, the increased risk due to the lower level of technology development needs to be considered and managed. This could be, for example, be done through public-private partnerships or research collaboration with the university. This could pay off as transferring innovative technologies have the potential to be more efficient, for example, in space requirements, and they can also produce products that have a higher revenue potential that could offset treatment costs. You might be overwhelmed by the large number of treatment technologies presented here, and you just want to know what technology you need for drying off sludge or to inactivate pathogens. To answer this question, it is best to group technology based on the treatment objectives, solid liquid separation, sludge stabilization, nutrient management, and pathogen activations. Technologies for solid liquid separation include drying beds, mechanical dewatering technologies, and settling thickening tanks. These technologies are designed to separate solids and liquid material in fecal sludge. For example, on this planted drying bed in Thailand, sludge is loaded on the surface of the sand filter layer. Solids in fecal sludge remain on the surface of this filter layer while the liquid passes through the filter layer and is collected at the bottom of the filter in a drainage network for further treatment. Treatment technologies typically achieve several treatment objectives. For example, with planted drying beds, sludge can remain on the surface for up to 10 years and also become stabilized, as you can see with this stabilized sludge on the surface of this planted drying bed. Other treatment technologies for sludge stabilization include co-composting, anaerobic digestion, fly larvae and vermicomposting, 
and incineration and pyrolysis. Technologies for nutrient management can include co-composting, deep row entrenchment, and fly larvae and vermicomposting. As always, the appropriate level of inactivation of pathogens for the intended use of treatment products must be a priority to protect public health. Co-composting, storage of dried sludge, lime and ammonia treatment, and incineration and pyrolysis are technologies that achieve high levels of pathogen inactivation. Frequently, fecal sludge is mostly comprised of water. So all technologies for solid-liquid separation, and also for example anaerobic digestion, produce liquid effluents that require further treatment. Technologies for effluent treatment include infiltration, planted drying beds, waste sterilization ponds, anaerobic baffled reactors and filters, and constructed wetlands. If treatment is located adjacent to the wastewater treatment plant, it could also include co-treatment with waste sterilization ponds, or even technologies based on activated sludge process. Treatment that adequately protects public and environmental health requires combination of different treatment technologies with different treatment objectives. Let's look at one example. This picture shows the Demagata fecal sludge treatment plant in the Philippines. It has a capacity to treat 80 cubic meters of fecal sludge from septic tanks per day. At Demagata, the sludge is discharged through a screen into an anaerobic waste stabilization pond. Following, the effluent from this anaerobic waste stabilization pond is further treated in facultative and maturation waste stabilization ponds and constructed wetlands. The solids that settle in the anaerobic waste stabilization ponds are dewatered and dried on drying beds. In separate modules, you will learn more about these treatment technologies. This will enable you to select technologies for a complete fecal sludge treatment plant and no important design considerations. You now have a good overview of treatment technologies for fecal sludge. But remember, technology is only part of the solution. Next to the level of technology development and treatment objectives presented in this module, consideration like capital, operation and maintenance cost, the existing institutional arrangements and capacity, the enabling environment and socio-economic characteristics need to be considered and will be discussed in separate modules. In this module, you were introduced to different treatment technologies for fecal sludge. Technologies have different levels of technology development based on existing level of knowledge from research, design, and operation and maintenance. This should be considered when selecting treatment technologies. Knowing the treatment objectives for treatment technologies, so for example, solid liquid separation for an unplanted drying bed, or sludge stabilization, nutrient management, and pathogen inactivation for co composting, are important to select and combine fecal sludge treatment technologies for a complete fecal sludge treatment plant.